Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Marla, and this is going to be a fairly short review on a product that I picked up recently, a Sephora. It's a lipstick from a company that I really never purchased anything from and really haven't read much about. Uh, so why don't you guys just sit down, grab a cup of coffee or tea. My beverage of choice this morning is my pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks. To me, this is the closest thing to liquid pumpkin pie. <laughs> I, I love the holidays because everything pumpkin sort of comes out. Pumpkin pancakes, pumpkin coffee drinks. I just love it and I really kind of miss it when I don't really, can't really get my pumpkin fix anymore. So I got my latte this morning. I'm sure it's probably 2,000 calories, but what the heck. I don't do it that often. So the lipstick that I picked up from Sephora was from a company called Bite. B-I-T-E Beauty. It was, I believe, $24. And like I said, this is a company I really wasn't familiar with, but after reading about these lipsticks, I was very intrigued. Um, they're supposed to be moisture rich, long lasting. They have no phthalates, parabens, or petrochemicals, which is really great for me. I kind of seek out those type of products. But the interesting thing about these is they are, supposed to have antioxidant properties, um, particularly the antioxidant properties of resveratrol. So for example, each one of these lipsticks is supposed to be the equivalent of five glasses of red wine. So do you put it on your lips or do you eat it? <laughs> no, you definitely put it on your lips. I'm just joking. Okay, but the reason I like these lipsticks is I'm kind of super particular about my lipsticks. I don't like them super kind of shiny, sticky, tacky looking, but then I also don't like them super matte looking. I, I, I kind of go with the Goldilocks philosophy of life when it comes to picking out lipsticks. You know how when Goldilocks went into the Three Bears house and she was eating the porridge and then one of the porridges was too cold and then the next one was too hot and then she found the one that was just right. Kind of the same thing with lipsticks. Sometimes some are too shiny, sometimes some are too matte, but then sometimes some are just right. Moisturize your lips without tons of shine, but do give you just a little bit of a, mm, a little bit of a moisture look to your lips. The two colors that I got were, um, like I said, they're from Bite Beauty. They're the Luminous Cream Lipsticks. The one color I really love and the other color I'm gonna kinda have to work with a little bit because it is a little bit too nude beige for my skin coloring, but for some reason I'm always attracted to that color, I don't know why. The color I love is the rose color and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show this to you now, but then I'm also gonna have some photographic swatches of these because I really think that's probably the best way to really see what these colors are, but rose is probably my favorite color. And like I said, the other color I picked up that I'm kind of have to kind of work with is the Salute. I think that's how you pronounce it. And as you can see, it's more of a nude, kind of beigey looking lipstick. And that really doesn't go with my skin coloring that great. So these are great lipsticks. If you're out looking for a lipstick at Sephora and you've never tried these before from this company, I really think you should just give them a look, see if you're looking for a nice, creamy, moisturizing lipstick that isn't too shiny, glossy, but also does give you a little bit of sheen, not super, super matte looking. Love, love, love these, and stay tuned at the end for the swatches. I'm going to try to do a holiday nail polish extravaganza, and I'm hoping I can film it before the second week in December with all my favorite sparkly nail polishes. These this one right here is one of my favorites. I've been wearing this forever, and this will be in the video if I can ever get it filmed. But stay tuned for that. Um, have a good week, guys. Uh, see you maybe on this weekend with a video, and I'm gonna sit here and finish off the rest of my coffee. Take care, see you soon, bye-bye.